What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech. This is my old T-Mobile router. I've converted it to an AC68U. Now I can use AI Mesh, but I never really used it in the past. This was in my closet. I use the Merlin firmware, which is the best and most advanced firmware you can get on an ASUS router. You get a ton of options, you get a ton of advanced features that you don't get on stock firmware. But thankfully, with a new update just released a couple days ago, AI Mesh came to the ASUS Merlin firmware. So I'm going to show you how to extend your network on the cheap. You can pick one of these up for about 40 bucks, do the conversion yourself. And you can extend your network really, really inexpensively when you compare it to something like Google Wi-Fi, which is a nice starter pack, but you don't really get those advanced features. I also have it set up using TorGuard. Check my link down below where you can save 50% off with code JabberTech. That's right, save 50% off your TorGuard services, your VPN services with my code. That's something you really want to get into, and that's why a lot of us are using the Merlin firmware. You just get a ton of advanced VPN options. But let's just go through this tutorial. I hope it's helped you out, and if you do have the Merlin software running on your ASUS router, I highly recommend you go download it. It's been absolutely flawless. It's been super fast, very stable no issues whatsoever. Just in case you don't know what AI Mesh is, it's ASUS's way to kind of resurrect these old routers and create your own mesh network. Using their software, everything is done automatically. Once you connect your two routers, you don't have to do anything else. Smart switching, super fast, couldn't be any easier. Just click a few buttons and you're up and running. You've extended your home network. You've expanded that mesh network. You have full total coverage and you can keep adding these nodes all over your house to create a super blanket everywhere you go. So let's get into this tutorial. I'm just gonna show you how to connect it and I've been using it for the past couple of days. And I have to say, speed is great and it's been super, super stable. So thank you to the Merlin team for actually including AI Mesh in their latest firmware revision. Let's get into this review and I'll show you how to install it. A lot of you might know, a lot of you might not know, I'm a huge Merlin firmware type of guy. I install this on every ASUS router that I have and I make sure that whatever new router I buy is Merlin compatible just because it gives you a lot more advanced features. Merlin is the type of software that you want if you want more control over your router. Say for example, control over your VPN. I like to have my whole house protected. I like to have my device protected under a VPN. And with the Merlin firmware, you actually have a ton of control over what you can do with your VPN services, such as policy rules. And you can also have up to five VPN clients on this router so it just gives you access to a lot of features that you wouldn't have direct from the factory because they are more advanced features so if you do want to protect your whole house if you do want to protect certain devices not other devices whatever the case may be the merlin firmware is definitely for you and it's something i can recommend and why i'm doing this video is because finally the new update enabled ai mesh on your compatible routers now this is something that i wanted for quite some time but I wasn't ready to give up my Merlin firmware just for a little mesh network. But the AI mesh software, you can use your old routers. So if you have an old, say you have one of those T-Mobile routers that they gave you back in the day, the AC1900s, the 68Us, whatever it is, just make sure it is compatible with AI mesh. You can actually create your own mesh network now pretty, pretty easily. So thank you, Merlin. Thank you to the developers for releasing this. It's something that I've wanted. So we're just gonna set it up together, see how easy it is to set up and just see if it actually works. To upgrade your router to the Merlin firmware, it's really simple. Just go to the ASUS Merlin website, click on download. From here, go to main download site, and this is where you'll actually find whatever router you have. Just make sure it's supported before you go out and purchase one, only to find out that it's not supported. So my router is the AC68U. You have a choice of release or beta. I usually just choose the release because I do rely a lot on internet, so I don't wanna really be a guinea pig. Click on the latest firmware and it's gonna download automatically. This is what your ASUS firmware will look like. And just to show you guys, if you go to VPN, you really don't have that many options. You pretty much can just add a profile and that's basically it. You don't have policy rules. You don't have any of the other advanced features. So that's why I always recommend the ASUS firmware. It just makes it a little easier to kind of set up your VPN with your router and it's pretty simple guys, it's not that hard. So next what you wanna do is go to administration. From here, select firmware upgrade. And then from here, you wanna manually update your firmware. Once you download the firmware, you wanna unzip it and then you wanna find the .trx file. Click on that 
click on open and it's going to automatically upload to your router it only takes a few minutes and then you have all your goodness of the merlin firmware i highly recommend it guys go check it out Now once it's done, you want to log back into your router. You see the changes here. If for any reason you don't want to keep the Merlin firmware, find the firmware from the ASUS website, the official stock firmware. Click on upload, follow the same procedure, and you will return to stock. But just to show you, now if we go to VPN, we have a whole list of options here. And I think this is absolutely great. But this is more about AI Mesh. Now we see we have the AI Mesh node here, and this is something new in the Merlin firmware. So what you want to do next is go to your main router. Usually use the router that's more powerful. If you have a tri-band router or whatever the case may be, use your more powerful router as the host, and then you can use the other lesser powerful router as a node. So just click on that, and it couldn't be any simpler. Click on search. You should find your other router pretty quickly. Once your router is found, it's going to pop up right here. So just click on it, click on apply, and the ASUS firmware, the Merlin firmware, is going to do everything automatically for you. So it's really very simple, guys, and this is a way that you can extend your wireless network on the cheap. You can get one of these 68Us or a T-Mobile edition and convert it for roughly about 40 bucks. That's a lot cheaper than some other manufacturers are charging you. Not to mention you get a much more powerful router this way. The mesh software from ASUS is one way to do it on the cheap. One way to use those old routers you might have stored away in the closet. Just because you didn't know what to do with them, you upgrade it to tri-band routers, whatever the case may be. But AI Mesh makes it super simple just to connect those routers, just to use them as nodes. And I'm really happy that the Merlin firmware group has included the AI Mesh now. That was something I was toying back and forth with. Should I go back to stock just to get the mesh network? Should I not? Ultimately, I decided not to just because I could not give up all these advanced features from the Merlin software. But now I have the best of both worlds and that's just absolutely great. Once your mesh network is all set up, you'll have a list down here and it all depends how many you have. I just have one node, but if you have multiple nodes, it'll show up right down here. And then it also shows you how many clients are connected to it. What I really like about the AI mesh system is it's super simple. It does everything for you. The main router acts as your control center and it'll automatically switch your clients to the stronger signal. And that's just what I think is super cool. It keeps all your passwords the same. It keeps your Wi-Fi SSIDs the same. All you have to do is click on a few buttons and it sets everything up for you. It couldn't be more simpler. If you do connect the router to a wired backhaul, meaning you have an ethernet cable from one of your ports on your main router to the WAN port on your node, it'll automatically detect that and show you that it has a wired connection. And that gives you a nice little diagram of how to do it. It also shows you the connections. So you can use those LAN ports on the back of your node to extend your network as well. So it not only acts as a repeater, you can also use those LAN ports to say, connect to a PlayStation 4 or connect to anything hardwired. And that's just what I like about it. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.